I really hope that this is normal. You know, at 5 a.m. you get up to bake brownies. This is probably like This is not professional, but if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I've been up since two o'clock this morning. I needed some snacks. Apparently my salad that I ate last night wasn't good enough. Mm, mm, mm. So, add chips, Pepsi, and then at five o'clock I felt that that wasn't enough. So I got up and I baked brownies. I hope that this inspired you to eat. Mm. You know when you just want to like praise God when something is so good? That's what I'm feeling like right now. Sorry. I gotta wash that down with Pepsi. All right guys, Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree last week and I still have this stuff in a bag because if you're like me, you like to watch people pull stuff out of a bag. I personally like to watch people pull out of their purse. I don't know why. I'm obsessed to see what people have in their purses. But anyways, let's get started. Dollar Tree, last week, first off, I bought this Happy Easter sign. Why? Because I want to hang it on my front door. Um, and it's going to be Easter. So I picked this up and it was the nice price of $1. But I thought it was really, really cute. I usually try to put stuff on my door for each holiday. We didn't do St. Patrick's Day though. But I do have something in this bag for St. Patrick's Day. But since I do have a little one, Toopy Loopy, um, I like to call it a little Lysy now. Um, I figured she'd like this, so I'm really big on like doing Easter egg hunts and stuff like that, so I picked that up. Next up, I would like you guys to know that I really did need to use these, but I didn't because I was like, I want to show them in my Dollar Tree haul because, I don't know, I just wanted to show you, but I bought new bath scrubs because I needed them. And so the one that's in my shower, it's like, you know, how they get old and I'm like, I'm throwing it away. I threw it away last night. That way I knew I would do this video. These are a dollar at Walmart. They're a dollar or 98 cents. I needed them, so I bought two. Next up, I picked up these cups because they're just to-go cups. And we just, they're convenient. <laughs> I don't know. I like them, so I got them. God forbid I don't throw anything. In. I will not throw my items in my own house. We know how that went last time. Next up, I picked up bubbles because we are a bubble family. Um, Toopy loves bubbles, and I'm going to put them in her Easter basket. I bought Easter baskets last year on clearance, so I still have them. All right, this is one of my favorite things from Dollar Tree. These books right here are so good. I know when I bought books like this last time, someone commented that they didn't know that they sold this type of stuff. That is why I really wanted to show these because... <laughs> Did I just say the burp on camera? That's how you know I'm keeping it real. I'm sorry. I just really had to burp that Pepsi and the brownie. I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm delusional. I've been awake since 2 o'clock this morning because I could not sleep. If you can't tell, look at my eyes. But I did put on a lot of makeup right now so that nobody would talk about the bags under my eyes. But anywho, back to these books. Toopies in kindergarten and... She's still struggling a little bit, so I'm trying to do everything on my part at home to do um, work with her. We do flashcards. We make our own flashcards, but this book basically has the alphabets where you can trace them, trace the letters. So that's what that is, and it has words that you can trace. And this, this one just has like the sounds and things and it has letters. So if you have a kid that is not even in kindergarten yet and you want them to be prepared, I'd highly recommend going to Dollar Tree and picking up all the little books like this and just working with them over the summer. Um, 
because it will really help them when they get into kindergarten. Like I said, Tupi is uh, struggling just, a, well, I'm not going to say just a little bit in different areas. So she's not catching on as fast, but we're going to do everything we can. You know, kids just learn at their own pace. So you can't really force them. You just have to let them do it on their own time. She didn't talk till she was three and a half. So um, it's just taking her a little bit longer. It is what it is. I have all the time in the world. I'm just patient with her. All right, next up, I picked up the St. Patrick's Day dish towel. So if you watch my last Dollar Tree haul, I did Valentine's Day dish towels. I think they were in that haul. So I know that I'm a little late on these. I still have my Valentine's ones up in the kitchen right now, but they're dish towels, and I don't think anybody really comes over and looks at my dish towels, but I do like to switch them out. So I'm going to be putting these up. Try to get those up before Saturday. They'll probably stay up till Easter. All right, guys. So next up, I picked these up because I always go to the mason jar section because I'm obsessed with them. But I'd like to know what these are. It says dessert glasses. Can you please tell me what dessert goes in here? I mean, it has like an itty bitty banana pudding right there. But I look at this and I think it was a shot glass. But let's open it. I mean, I could probably stick some of my brownie in there right now. Look at that. What kind of dessert are we going to get in there? If you're like me, you're going to want a lot more dessert than that. So I was just curious, what do you guys put in these? Because I know some of you are like bakers and stuff. I'm not really a baker. I don't really bake too often. Just like if I get a sweet tooth, but... I'm sorry, this looks either like a communion cup when you go to church on the first Sunday and you get the wine, but really it's grape juice. <laughs> well, at least at my church they do grape juice. Well, they did do grape juice. Um, I don't know if they do grape juice. I think it's grape juice. But um, what what do you put, the, put in there? I don't know. That must be like at a fancy restaurant or something and they just giving you like a little sample of something. Next up, I picked up these little cups to go in the restroom because when Tupi brushes her teeth, she needs water. Otherwise, she splashes it everywhere. So, excuse me. I'm very sorry about this. Am I burping on camera? All right. I did not realize that I bought another one of these because I was downstairs right now and I actually threw the one that I have that I use all the time this night. Okay. It's a little dirty, but let me tell you why. Because I took it out of the sink because I really wanted to show you guys and give you a review. This is absolutely my favorite knife in my house right now. So I got it from Dollar Tree last time I did a Dollar Tree haul. And I was saying, I don't know how this knife is going to cut, but I really wanted to try it out. I would highly recommend this. Like I said, it is a little dirty because I pulled it out of the sink and I used it to cook with last night. I was actually cutting avocados with it. So I wanted to tell you guys, if you need a good knife, I highly recommend it, okay? That's why I bought another one. Didn't even realize that I had bought another one. I forgot about it. So I'm going to put this one back in the sink. Just going to throw, just kidding. I'm not going to throw that. All right. Next up, I have another book in here. It's another book for Tupi. This one says First Words, Homework Helper. So it's pretty similar to the other one, but it's different in the inside. So Tupi does like to read, and she loves to learn. She loves trying. Um, she's not like a lazy kid as far as like doesn't want to learn or not interested in it. She's just struggling a little bit. So like I said, anything that I can do to help her out, I'm definitely going to do it. So another one of these. This one says First Words. But like I said, guys, I highly recommend it if you have kids that are four years old or three years old and some kids catch on really really fast get these books and start with them over the summer so if they're going to go to pre-k or head start wherever you may live whatever it's called they will be prepared when they get to kindergarten all right so next up i just could not pass up this frog because i just thought it was too cute i have a frog by my front door already it's like a freestanding frog but I thought this was so cute. It says, welcome. So after Easter, and I take down the Easter sign, I'm going to hang this one up and just keep it up all year long until it's time to, like, switch out my signs again. But isn't that cute? I just thought it was so cute. It's just a cute little frog. So, yeah, $1 for that. I just thought it was super cute. All right, and then next up, I picked these up. I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to do with them, but I just thought that they were cool and I like them. This one says, I will love you to infinity and beyond. It is the infinity symbol. Um, you know, these are just like pull-off stickers. You put them on your wall. I took down a lot of pictures in my house, well, at least in my bedroom, so I need to, like, get new pictures up. 
And I actually have an, well, you can't really see it, an infinity symbol. It's an A and a P for um, Ava and Peyton's initials. And then last but not least, I picked up this. When it says, blessed are the pure in the heart. So I thought this was cute. I took down a picture in my entryway. So I'm going to actually replace it with this right here. Until we take new pictures um, and get all of our new pictures up. So that is all I have for you friends in my Dollar Tree haul. Sorry I'm all over the place. But I'm a little bit delusional because I'm going off two hours of sleep. And we all know how that goes. Sometimes you just wake up in the middle of the night and you just can't sleep. Nothing was going to make me sleep. So I started eating snacks and that's what we do when we wake up. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My brownies, my rules. If I want to eat the brownie out the middle, I'm going to eat the brownie out the middle. Thank you. And just remember guys, YOLO! You only live once, so if you want to eat brownies at 6 o'clock in the morning, you get up and you bake your brownies and you eat your brownies with ice cream on the top at 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Team no crop top. I don't care. cool. For the record, does anybody else just spray their body spray like this and they gotta do like a whole little bathe with it? I like to make sure that I get my whole body because it is a body spray.